been paid for by the committee to re-elect Tim Mahoney. We are speaking with Tim Mahoney, Democratic candidate for state representative in the 51st Legislative District. Tim, you are a known member in the community in this Legislative District, not only holding the chair previously, but also having a lot of community service involving scholarships and involving uh, area cleanup as well as uh, Christmas events. So tell me about a lot of the community service you've been doing over the years. I mean, <clears throat> when I first got elected, uh, I, you know, I, I, I created a scholarship fund for two seniors in each school district to apply for and I let the guidance counselor pick uh, Pick the scholarships. My wife and I, uh, we funded that wholly and it worked out well. Now with the scholarships, why in your opinion do you think that's important, especially with the community that your legislative district's in? Well, I mean, I, I believe in giving back. I mean, I've been fortunate. I mean, there, there's no, very, no way around that. I've been fortunate in business and in life and I, I'd like to see everyone get a little helping hand. Now, with that helping hand, you've also hosted Christmas dinners for many years. Tell me about the Christmas dinners you've been hosting. Well, we're still hosting them, even though the, that I'm out of office. And uh, how that came about, I was in church one Sunday, and the, the, the priest was talking about, it was right before Christmas, and uh, how people need to help other people, you know, especially at Christmas, because that's the, the most time of the year that there's a lot of suicides in the, in the country. Showing that you care about the yeah. community. And so uh, my wife, I, I went and talked to my wife and uh, we decided that, that we were going to, uh, you know, fund that. And uh, we, we have a, we're fortunate enough to have a, a hall that we can use to fund it. And, um, and it worked out well. And it's, it's, it's so heart, heart wrenching to see some of these people that have nowhere to go that are locked in that we used to pick up you know, older people that don't have anybody else, you know, to spend Christmas with and people that can't afford to give toys. We always had a Christmas tree and had Santa there to give toys away for the, the younger kids. And it's just not for the unfortunate people that don't have the money. It's for anybody that wants to share their Christmas with uh, someone. And we have, we've, we've had 150, 200 volunteers every Christmas day come and help serve those people. Giving back to the Giving community. back, and, and, and it's really, it's, it's really heart-wrenching just to see the people that come out to help, and it, it's, it's amazing. Now, with the community service events you've been hosting in the community for many years, you do have uh, another event coming up at the old Kmart. Yes, we do, and uh, it's... Um, you know, the state doesn't help fund the EMSs, the first responders. Uh, they, you know, they make them practically beg for money. They're out there on the corner selling hoagies and having raffles. And I thought that I'd come up with an idea that, you know, to try to have one big, big fundraiser for them to help them, you know, get through the year. And we're, we're going to have the Vogues and the, the Jaggers, which are two nationally known bands that are going to be at the Kmart on October 27th, $20 a ticket. Appreciate if you'd come up and support people. So this event you said is coming up October 27th yes. at Kmart. Yes. And this is uh, presenting the Vogues and the Jaggers. Yes. And it is for remembering and commemorating the first responders in our community. Yes. And uh, we're going to have a local band, the Ally Band. They'll be there. They'll be the first band. And we're going to give a, a, a first responder award out every year. We're going to do this yearly. If I get elected or not, we're definitely going to do this yearly to try to get more people involved in raising money for these first responders. Now, specifically in regards to this event coming up at Kmart, is there a way people can look online for more information about this event? Well, uh, it's not online, but it's uh, you can buy tickets at Gus's Pub, uh, ED, uh Ethan Keedy's Pizza Shop in Connorsville. Any first, any volunteer fire department or am, ambulance groups has the tickets, or you can buy the tickets at the door. And there will be a car show out front, which Arnie Hammer is in charge of, your, your colleague. And uh, I just hope it goes well. I hope we raise a lot of money, and hopefully it'll be the beginning of something really big, like something we have up in Johnstown, Thunder in the Mountains, where they raise 
close to five, six hundred thousand a year. It's all about trying to it's all help about, and be a part of the community. It's all about the community and all about trying to help, you know, these people stay in business. We are speaking with Tim Mahoney, Democratic candidate for state representative in the 51st Legislative District. Election is November the 6th. 